You know, I think one of the things that's always amazed me about fishing are, are the constants. The things that just happen day after day or year after year or season after season. And one of those constants is when you find fish in the fall, you can bet that come early ice, they're usually gonna be in the same neighborhood. They, don't, they really don't move far after that move out of the summer pattern into the fall pattern and then through that early winter before they start moving again. The other constant is that it seems like when fish make moves, they move to similar areas. You look at crappies, for one reason or another, they might move to a certain brush pile year after year at the same time and then move on to the same hole year after year. So ultimately, a lot of those summertime spots, you know, spring, summer, fall, are also good early ice, midwinter, and late ice. So ultimately, when I find spots in the summertime, or especially in the fall, I want to save those units to my ice unit because, or save those coordinates to my ice unit because here's what's going to happen. Those fish are going to be there at one point or another, and, and those constants just exist in fishing. So every year, about this time, when I'm starting to think about fall, and I mean, you can tell how we're dressed today, you look around, I mean, leaves are starting to drop. This is, this is almost the end of the road. We're almost wrapped up here with our open water stuff. I start doing some of this, some of this waypoint maintenance is what I call it. And, and ultimately what that is, is I want to save everything new that I found this summer, okay? but I also want to save that stuff because ice fishing's coming up. I'm on a lake where I'm gonna ice fish this year. This is a good lake, I catch a lot of fish here. So ultimately, I want to have those coordinates. And it's a really simple thing to do. But one of the things that, that I'm doing nowadays is I'm running a Helix 12 unit in my boat. And then on the ice, I'm running a Helix 7 unit because I have everything I need in that Helix 7 unit. I, I, I have sonar, I have GPS, I have everything. But to move coordinates from this 12 to that 7, you know, it, it's really simple. I'm gonna save it to an SD card, but what you gotta remember is you wanna run a micro SD card. So when you're picking up your SD card at your favorite store, wherever you're getting it, make sure you're getting the kind where you got the micro. So that micro card just slides in there, okay? And then it's as simple as walking through this process. And you know, one thing I'll say about these Humminbird Helix units, I've never seen sonar units in my life that are so simple to run. And, and they've done such a good job of making it easy. So if you watch what I do here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one keystroke to menu. I'm gonna do another one here and I'm gonna roll over to nav and you can come right down here to waypoints. All I'm gonna do is go to waypoints. I'm gonna go up to options and right here, it's gonna say select multiple, search by, select all. Well, I'm gonna select all and all I'm gonna do is hit that arrow key and I'm gonna go down to export. As soon as I hit that, it's gonna ask me, do I want it to all go to my SD card? I'm gonna hit yes, and that easy. Man, it's all done. That's it, I've saved them all to that SD card. So now I'm just gonna exit out of there. I can pull this SD card right out of here, okay? Now here's where the micro part becomes important. This chip right here, this is the size of chip that fits in that Humminbird Helix 12. But now I'm gonna use the micro piece, okay? So I'm gonna take that micro piece out, and now, we're gonna slide that into this Helix unit, okay? Because this uses the micro. Now this Helix 7, man, I'll tell you what, this is, this is one of the best ice units I've ever seen because it allows me to do everything. And look at this, how easy this is. It asks me right here, upload nav data from SD card. All I'm gonna do is hit yes. I hit yes and it's gonna dump everything from my summertime onto that card. Now, if I would have wanted to just select a few waypoints, I could do that where it said select. You know, I, I get that option. So if I wanted to just take a couple of them, I can take a couple of them. I chose to put them all on there because ultimately I know that each year, at the end of the year, I'll delete everything on here. I will, after I save it, then I'll also go through a year, save it all and move it over again. But that way I know I've got those spots where I found fish in the fall. I've got those spots where I found fish all summer. And I'm gonna go back and recheck those spots throughout the year. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna find fish on them. I'm gonna find fish on them midwinter. The same spots that are holding fish midsummer usually hold fish midwinter. I mean, it's, it's amazing those constants. So make sure you're doing that each year. You know, when you get done, you're wrapping up with the boat, save those coordinates on your helix, your bigger helix unit that you're using in the boat, or even if you're using a seven, and then roll it over to your ice unit, and you're gonna have a lot more spots when you get out here on the snowmobile, four-wheeler, whatever it may be, you're gonna be able to chase them down a lot quicker. <laughs>